And speaking of Fort Wayne, as the city looks to its future in advanced manufacturing, it's also trying to preserve a piece of its manufacturing past. A look back at an iconic company that wants to find a city. International Harvester makes a complete line of trucks. The best that men, money, and more than a century of manufacturing experience can build. The factory at Fort Wayne, where heavy-duty models are manufactured, so you'll occupies 125 you acres. The, the Hoover Dam was built with international trucks. They built a truck here to haul a giant platform for one of the first rocket launches at Cape Canaveral they took out of here. They built anything needed to be built to do the biggest things in the world. You might call it the Summit City's 20th century behemoth. It's not enough to have an engineering setup second to none in the industry. For 60 years, International Harvester reigned supreme in Fort Wayne. For decades, it was the city's largest employer. During World War II, the Fort Wayne truck titan was considered so critical to the U.S. war effort, Adolf Hitler himself had the plant circled as a major bombing target. In World War II, we were not, uh, not too f popular with Hitler because of the trucks that were being built here. The triple diamond emblem on every international truck is a mark of distinction. It really was the heavy-duty truck capital of the world. From 1923 until 1983, International Harvester manufactured more than one and a half million heavy-duty trucks. International Harvester became the number one truck manufacturer in the nation. We had at least 75 or 80 percent of the market. This is what be really made Harvester become, the, uh, Fort Wayne especially, the heavy truck capital of the world. It brought the business. Good paying jobs, which were the best in the area. It, it not only benefited Fort Wayne, it benefited the surrounding area. It's also responsible for the creation of what many consider to be the first modern SUV, the Scout. The Scout is small on the outside. 1961, we started with the, the Scout, which in my opinion was the first SUV. It was supposed to be just a utility vehicle, but it turned into a family vehicle. I think the, uh, the Scout and the uh, the heavy duty truck capital were the, the two major areas that, that made it what it is. But like many industrial giants of its time, International Harvester would face its share of challenges. Economic downturns and changing consumer preferences would eventually take their toll on the company. In the 1980s, the plant ceased operations, marking the end of an era for International Harvester in Fort Wayne. The relationship of Harvester to Fort Wayne is not good because of the fact that they pulled out. And no one said anything about the Harvester history here because it was sort of a sad note that there was still bitterness. But through the efforts of Ryan Duvall, who declined to be on camera, and former longtime International employee Jerry Bedley, the two set out to make sure the legacy of International Harvester was not forgotten. The two have been able to set up nonprofit Harvester Homecoming that's resulted in a number of festivals and now a makeshift museum of sorts at the one-time engineering building that now features over 65 original International Harvester trucks, scouts, and memorabilia galore. So this, this is part of the history that we're trying to, to keep alive with the museum. I think I'm most proud of the, of the years that I spent, uh, the relationships, the family, the friends, that uh, that you made. You actually spent eight hours, eight hours out of every day here. Sometimes ten because you'd be working overtime, and you really spent more time here than you did with your own family. And uh, I think that history is what means most to me. An amazing story. A little emotional there, but you know, right now the the challenge that they face the old engineering yep. building where they've kind of got this makeshift museum that's not technically open to the public. Right. The county owns it and wants to turn it into yep. a jail. So 
they're trying to find a permanent home for the museum and for this awesome yep. uh, harvester memorabilia. Yep. And I know that back in the in the 80s, you were there when the harvester plant closed. Yeah, yeah, looking at some of these images uh, on the screen brings back a lot of memories. I covered uh, the har harvester departure as uh, my first job out of college uh, in Fort Wayne. And as your piece uh, reflected, this there was a pall over Fort Wayne in Northeast Indiana when this announcement uh, came down. It really devastated the community because this was a company that that supported families, put kids through college for many, many years. So it was uh, it was a tough time in Fort Wayne, but it has certainly recovered since then. Great report. Thanks. Mm -hmm.